Hey guys, how's it going? I know I haven't did a video in a while. I wanted to wait until Georgia's new enclosure was totally done. He likes to uh, climb on the outside of it when I have the door open. <laughs> what a goober. So this is a four by two by five grow tent, obviously. Um, it has a few upright branches in here, one in the middle and one on the side here. Kind of hard to see because of the fake plants. Now there's also another one all the way in the corner in the back there that goes all the way down to the bottom. Um, I've got horizontal branches and branches that kind of crisscross and some branches are thick, some are thin. That way he's got lots of different climbing options, climbing opportunities, and it'll help with his dexterity when he's climbing around, um, especially with the, the thinner branches in there. Um, I did go with fake plants, like I said, because obviously fake plants are easier, they don't die, so that is a huge plus. Um, I tried to pick out ones that were going to be uh, somewhat indestructible because obviously this guy is a climber, so I know he was going to climb around on the plants also. So I tried to pick out ones that were going to hold up, that were going to be, I guess, tough, if you will. <laughs> I didn't want to get stuff that was going to be like thin and like fall apart easy. So I think I picked out some pretty good ones that are going to hold up for a while. Um, and for the substrate in the bottom, I did a mixture of Scott's organic topsoil mixed with the play sand, of course. And then what I do is I add a small bag of the Zilla Jungle Mix. And that seems to be a pretty good mixture because um, that has the sphagnum moss in it and the peat moss. Um, then I also get a bag of the long fibered sphagnum moss and I get a good amount of that, of that and get it damp and just kind of put it on the top of the substrate there and I also put some in the cork tube as well. Um, I've got three cork tubes in there, a nice big one at the bottom. Um, I've got two in the middle, one there, one there. They're both facing out. He's being a goofball. What are you doing? What are you doing, goofball? I've got them both. I got them all facing out. That way I can see him. He can see me. All that fun stuff. And for the last week, he's pretty much made this one. His bed. And now he's climbing up me. What are you doing? What are you doing, Goofy? Hmm? Hi. You have sharp nails, mister. What are you doing? What are you doing? I have shorts on the tank top and your nails are very sharp. <laughs> um, okay, where was I? So, oh, the the sphagnum moss on the bottom. I mean, I just, just get that damp and toss it in there. And like I said, I've got the three cork tubes in there. And that one, he made his bed. I think I already said that. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, this, what are you doing? Um, this cool basking platform, um, I did find it at Hobby Lobby. I thought it'd be a cool natural platform it's nice and big he can stretch his whole body out on it um, and then i use all arcadia products for heating and lighting um, clearly not the domes but everything else is arcadia i have a four foot uvb it is a uh, arcadia pro t5 with a 12 percent UVB bulb. Um, 
over here is going to be like a secondary basking area that has a Arcadia 50 watt halogen. I'm trying to keep my eye on him too so he doesn't get under the couch. <laughs> um, over here on this side, um, the left is a Arcadia um, 50 watt DP projector. And on the right side is a Arcadia 75 watt halogen. Um, I initially had an 80 watt DP projector, but that was making the basking area way too hot paired with that 75 halogen. Um, so I swapped it over to a 50 and it seems to be better. Um, the middle of the basking area is about 118 to close to 130 and their basking temps should be between like 115 and 125 but even though it's kind of close to 130 um i mean that that's still a good a good range um i'm still deciding i may or may not swap the 75 halogen out for a 50 um i may or may not do that but i think for the most part, the temps are good, you know, for that being the main primary basking spot. Um, but other than that, I think that's about it. Um, I was thinking about doing like an Arcadia, what is it, the, uh, the Jungle Dawn, the LED also, but the, uh, the four foot UVB, the Pro T5, that sucker's putting out like 7,000 Kelvins. So there's tons of lightage, as you can see, and it goes all the way to the bottom. So the bottom is also nice and bright as well. So um, I, I think it's bright enough. Um, it definitely looks bright enough. <laughs> so I think it turned out pretty good. Not too shabby. Um, he's definitely digging the space, the next room, and all the branches to climb around. And he's been having a, a bang up time in here. And of course, he comes out a couple times a day to do his free roaming. And he does really good with that, too. So I'm going to try to. Uh, Keep my eye on him and I'm sure he'll probably want to go back in his house here pretty soon because normally about this time he's heading for the cork tube and looking to curl up and take a nap aren't you aren't you <laughs> but just wanted to do a quick update video show everybody the uh the tent that it's finally done. So pretty excited about that. And I'm sure Georgia is, he's been having a good time climbing around in there. So that is it. And I will catch everybody next time. If anybody has any um, comments, any advice, anything I should maybe change or do differently in here. Any thoughts, suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I definitely appreciate any and all advice. So that's it. And that's all. I got to go find this lizard. He wandered off somewhere. <laughs> so I'll catch everybody next time. Adios.